Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be taking a look at Swamper uh, with Hydro Cannon. Uh, it's going to be getting the community day exclusive move Hydro Cannon on July 21st. So make sure that you go out for your wherever the best place to grind and, and evolve your, your best PvP IV uh, mudkips into Swamper because Hydro Cannon is uh, the best move in, in PvP arguably. Um, and certainly one of the most energy efficient and certainly will will allow Swampert to, to become an even better uh, Pokemon. But the question here is, is Swampert the new Mud King or just another Mud Boy? So its competition or its unevolved form or lesser evolved form, uh, Marsh Tom, uh, Quagsire, and Wish Cash. So let's go ahead and take a look. So what I've done is I've prepared some analysis again. Uh, where I've taken PV Poke in the 0, 1, and 2 shield scenarios and compared the data against the entire meta for Boulder, uh, Tempest, and Regionals. And then I have some conclusions uh, based off of the analysis that I performed. So let's go ahead and take a look at the 0 shields in Boulder. Uh, so we here we have uh, Marsh Stomp with, um, Marsh Stomp with Water Gun, Surf, and Mud Bomb. Some people might argue uh, Mud Shot. But I think a lot of people ran Water Gun just for the matchup against uh, Skarmory. And then for with Cash, we have uh, Mudshot, Blizzard, and Mud Bomb. And then for Swamper, we have Mudshot, Earthquake, and Hydro Cannon. Uh, so as you can see here, um, Marsh Stomp comes in third with 76.9% 76, 76 win percentage. Uh, second uh, is, Marsh, uh, is Swamper uh, with 80.8%. And then first place is Wish Cash with an astounding 83.7% win percentage. And if we go to the one shield scenario, again, we see, you know, basically in line, uh, Marsh Stomp, Swampert, and then Wish Cash from lowest winning percentage to highest winning, winning percentage. Uh, but you'll see the win percentage is, is very close uh, between um, Wish Cash and uh, Swampert. And if we go to the two shield scenario, again, we see very similar numbers. We actually see Marsh Stomp actually falling off uh, a little more as, as the shields uh, progress. So from a Boulder Cup perspective against the entire meta, uh, we see that Wish Cash is able to hire, um, handle the entire meta uh, better than the other two, but it's very close with uh, Swampert. And if we go to Tempest, uh, where it's, it's rival or... One of the main Pokemon used in Tempest uh, was Quagsire, and Quagsire with Mudshot, Stone Edge, and Earthquake. And you'll see that Quagsire wins in the zero uh, in one shield scenario from a win percentage perspective uh, by by a pretty good margin. Uh, but you, you'll see as it gets to the two shield scenario, it actually starts to fall off, and uh, that's actually where Swamper actually starts to excel uh, a little bit more than its. Uh, one in, in zero shield scenario is actually able to come out on top. So for the most part, uh, Quagsire does come out on top. It does have a very different move set uh, than Swamper uh, with that Stone Edge instead, instead of a uh, Hydro Cannon. Uh, but it's still an interesting uh, comparison uh, to do, do between the two. And then if we go to Season 1 Regionals, uh, where the Mud Boy of choice uh, was Wish Cash, uh, you'll see that in the zero, one, and two shield scenario, uh, it maintains about like a mid to lo lo like a low to mid uh, seventy percent win percentage. And while uh, Swapper is very close, as you can see, seventy three point eight versus seventy three point one percent, it does it does still fall behind Wish Cash by the, probably that one or two matchups, and falls even further behind uh, in the two shield scenario. And in conclusion, when we took a look at um, Swamper, we'll see that the pros are that Hydro Cannon is extremely energy efficient. Again, one of the most energy efficient moves uh, in the entire game. Earthquake is a great closing move. It does a lot of damage, is more energy efficient uh, than, than Mud Bomb, uh, and it wins the quote-unquote Mud Boy uh, mirror match against Marsh Stomp, Quagsire, uh, and Wish Cash. And it's the best water mud boy, uh, if you, if you want to 
coin it that way as uh, as it's able to effectively use uh, its water moves more efficiently than the other other Pokemon. But the cons are it's like 20% less tanky than Wish Cash, uh, which which you know matters in in some matchups. Uh, ground has been found to be more useful than water so far in in the shared meta. I'm not saying overall, but I'm saying whenever a, a Mud Boy is needed, um, getting getting access to the Mud Bomb first uh, before Earthquake uh, has proven to be very useful. And as we see in, in the data, um, it play out. And Mud Bomb is the lowest energy uh, move, uh, charge move. At 35 energy, it's actually one turn sooner sooner than Hydro Cannon. So being able to get that Mud Bomb off puts a lot of shield pressure, uh, especially against in in so far in its shared meta. And it's not a replacement uh, to Quagsire since Quagsire has access to that Stone Edge, which allows it to have a slightly different coverage uh, than than Marston. But overall, Marston's just another Mud Boy, but it's a really great mud boy and should have some really interesting uses uh in the meta but it's certainly far from broken uh but we'll we'll definitely see some gameplay uh whenever it's available so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up uh don't forget to subscribe and let me know uh what's the best uh mud kit that you have so far and uh how many shinies you think that you're going to be catching uh, that day so best of luck with everyone on their community day and i'll see everyone in the next video